Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI Kuro. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI Kuro. So back to the technical analysis. Today we're down 83 basis points on the one-hour chart. We are slowly approaching to positive MACD, and if we expand out further to the four-hour chart, right now we have also, we're starting to see a convergence on the 4-hour MACD and slowly approaching to positive MACD as well. And on the daily chart, we're still currently oversold on the daily RSI. We did make a convergence on the daily MACD, and if we do manage to climb higher, the next resistance that I see is the 9-day moving average, this blue line. Reason why? That coincides with price levels that indicated as our previous support around a price of $22.80. That is our first immediate resistance if we do manage to head higher. And as for support, we have to expand out further to multi years of the previous all time lows was back in November 19, 2001, around a price of $17.12. And if we make that as our support level if we were to move down lower that price movement is roughly around it is around i would say 17 or 16.8 percent to the downside and if we do manage to climb higher that price movement is roughly around 11.6 percent to the upside to hit back where support was previously made so back to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. As the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 20% chance for WTI crudo to fall between zero and negative 8%. On the extreme cases, we have a 60% chance for WTI crudo to fall between negative 8% and negative 16%. And on the extreme case here as well, 20% chance for WTI crudo to fall between negative 16% and negative 25%. So let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So what we have here is one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is a trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to August 19, 2008, to November 12, 2008. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band. And after touching the upper Bollinger Band, we proceeded to dip lower, touch the bottom Bollinger Band. Let's just mark all the instances where we touch the bottom Bollinger Band. So we have our first one there and our last one towards the very end. And in between those two bottom Bollinger Bands, we did revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band and we have that point there and in the trend in question we do manage to start off at the upper Bollinger Band here as well and after that we touched the bottom Bollinger Bands our first attempt was there and our last one is right near the very end and then the trend in between the two bottom Bollinger Bands we revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band so we have about one two three four points we also have one two three four points here on the current trend as well and there's reason to believe if the trends and patterns are the same the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same and, and the model that we just examined was august 19 2008 to november 12 2008 back then wti crudo fell around 12 percent and if we look back at the day-by-day -day probability model it coincides with the standard deviation of 60% chance for WTI crudo to fall between negative 8% and negative 16%. That's where WTI crudo back in 2008 fell to. And if we examine closer to the technical performance of each model, right now we have the model, our current model. We are down 172% from monthly high, up 2.5% from monthly low down 10% from 10 simple moving average, down 30% from 20 simple moving average, down 
or 49% from 50 simple moving average. And if we examine the trend that we just examined, which was August 19, 2008 to November 12, 2008, back then WTI crude oil was down 114% from monthly high, up 0% from monthly low, down 12% from 10 simple moving average, down 15% from 20 simple moving average, and down 33% from 50 simple moving average. As you can see, the trend in question, or our current trend, is much further down than where we were on the simple moving average between 20 and 50%. 50. So do take that into consideration. And if you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.